not for 5 seconds, you need to press for 10 seconds. My name is Zafar Khan, you are watching ZK Multitech. Friends, today I will show you AKO controller full detail. I will open it, I will show you how many things coming with this controller and how do you fix if someone give you first time. Okay? What setting you need to change? You have to change only two setting after connection, after fixing this controller. See, this is the model number AKO DF1432300009. This is the model number for this controller. Okay? Now, you can see with this controller two probe. Okay? This is double probe controller. One we are using for uh, evaporator which is work in defrost evaporator probe and one for cabinet temperature which is showing you and display okay and this two is lock okay and this is the controller failure and this is programming T you can see there is instruction the installation in different language but we will take the English one and will show you installation instructions okay this in English these are in other languages okay we'll keep inside and this one we will use okay so now you have two sensor this two is lock you can lock with sight when you are fixing okay and two sensor how you will connect two sensor I will open the two sensor and I will connect the sensor and then I will give power supply and then I will show you how do you change the two setting ok the two sensor you need to take one sensor one side and another sensor one side ok this two you need to connect on 1, 2, 3, 4, ok you need to connect on number 4 and this is connect on number 4 and one sensor you need to connect number 3 and another sensor you need to connect number 2 and the first one you need to connect number first door switch ok and power supply see here you can see 5 6 you need to give 220 power supply and the other you can see the C this is common you need to give one line phase to number C sorry number 9 and C common and then number 8 you need to connect the compressor cable number 10 fan and number 11 AUX auxiliary contact defrost heater ok so now I will connect 220 I will switch on ok I connect the power and now I will switch on the power now you can see when you switch it on it will show 1 and 1 any one ok there is 7 programming 2 3 4 5 6 7 so now you need to select number 1 1 is for multi purpose you can use for chiller, freezer, cold room everything ok you need to press just set ok now your program is set now you need to change only two setup the other all program has been programmed <coughs> you need to press set key 
long press for 5 second to change the set point ok this is already set for the chiller if you want to set for the freezer you can set by down arrow key to bring it down to minus 18 this is minus 18 ok you change the set point and another thing you need to change for defrost ok if your system have defrost by heater for example you need to go to the programming set key long press not for 5 seconds you need to press for 10 seconds ok SP will indicate and you need to still hold the key after 10 seconds PRG PRG now you are in program mode so now you need to go defrost setting D7 ok defrost D0 D9 D8 D7 ok D7 means 0 0 means heater if you have heater in the system you need to select 0 if you have defrost by hot gas solenoid you need to select 1 ok this two setup one of them you need to choose so I will keep it 0 almost chiller and freezer have electrical heater ok so press it set set and then go back ESC so now you programming is done you leave it your system will work thank you for watching see you in next video please click on like and subscribe my channel